The lives of fallen officers are being honored today in one local community. Our Brenda Mack tells us more. Take a little bit of time and remember those that have lost their lives in the line of duty. For a half hour today, sheriffs, police and medical officers gathered with residents to honor the lives of fallen officers over the last year. 128 heroes lost in 2015 and more than 20,000 officers whose names have been etched into the wall throughout U.S. history. Honor, duty and courage, these are some words used to describe the bravery and service of these officers. Police officers are not alone in this community. For many, they call it a selfless sacrifice. I feel very honored. I mean, when my dad goes out there sometimes, I mean, it, it's scary. You don't know if, he, if they're going to come back. Saving a random person, they don't know. Now, therefore, I, Rita Albright, Mayor of the City of Bemidji, formally designate May 15 through 21, 2016, as Police Week in Bemidji and publicly salute the service of law enforcement officers in our community and in communities across this nation. This memorial service is also a time to empower and appreciate the services of all officers in duty. They're the heroes of this country and that we should do whatever it takes to help them out. I would like to challenge all of the officers here to let's take this moment today to redouble our efforts to protect our own. Let's refocus ourselves to improve our training. The ceremony is held in conjunction with Police Week and National Law Enforcement Memorial Service. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lickland News. The ceremony particularly commended the lives of investigator Stephen Martin Sandberg and game warden Charles Masoner. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.